Okay, let's look at the 4 to 20 milliamp current loop. Um, what I did is I found this valve actuator on eBay. Um, it's sold as a damper actuator for HVAC. Um, I've seen it used on gas valves, you know, anything that you have to turn, uh, small amounts, you know. So uh, this is a 24-volt um, power. Uh, officially, it runs on 2 to 10 volts on the, the control signal. However, uh, this is a 4 to 20 milliamp uh, simulator. Um, 4 to 20 milliamps is a standard industrial control signal. In order to get 2 to 10 volts, what we do is we take a 500 ohm resistor. The current will flow through the resistor and back to the simulator producing two, two volts at four milliamps and 10 volts at 20 milliamps. So it works out just right. Um, so what I'll do is I've got it, I've got it connected together, uh, 24 volts coming in, my control signal on the white wire. This orange wire is not used, so I just cut it off there. Um, got power on it. Let's turn this on. Okay, so the default is 12 milliamps. I'm going to dial this back to 4 and you can watch the actuator. The low end is 4.0. Watch, there's a mechanical stop right there. So when I get down to 4, it is right there on the stop. Okay, that is adjustable, so you can um, change that position if you want to. Let's go up to 20. I'm going to just show the valve actuator. Let me slide over here a little bit. So this is one of those Amazon milliamp simulators. Yeah, it wasn't very expensive. It's actually pretty accurate. I've checked it with the couple of different fluke meters in there. It's showing right on the money. Um, so here's 20, and you can see that it's right up against the other stop. It's actually a little short, so I might want to adjust that later. This is how it came. Um, I think it, it, it was never used. It looked brand new. I think maybe it was a demo, because they just chopped the, chopped the cord and sent it to me. Okay, so let's go to... Uh, to 12 because if you take 20 minus 4 that's 16 milliamps and if you add uh, half of that to 4 you get 12 so it's a halfway is uh, 12 so I'm gonna watch this while I dial it down there is 12.0 so if you look at it you're you're halfway open let's go down to to 4 And we're closed again. And as I turn it, it, it you know, opens very slowly, right? It produces a fair amount of torque. So it can turn uh, gas valves or um, dampers for adding hot air and cold air together or exhaust air and fresh air, uh, you name it, whatever you need. Um, so it, it can produce a fair amount of torque. This model does not have what's known as a fail-safe. So if I lose power to it, I'm going to disconnect the power real quick. It does not close. So that's kind of dangerous, right? Uh, you would like it to close. They sell models that have fail-safe uh, features built into it. It's a spring, I believe, that forces it to close. Uh, I don't have that. This was $50. I think this model brand new is like 300 and something dollars so I, I didn't really need fail safe I just wanted something that would move uh, there's 12 if I go up let's see what's half of the rest of that um, uh, 16 let's go up to 16 and I'm about three quarters if I go all the way to 20 again I'm fully open. So uh, the other neat thing about this one 
is that um, it has a little switch right here. If I flip the switch, let me get in there and flip it. What it does is reverses the direction of travel. So may that's 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 20 mils now. That's all the way the other way. So you know if if the valve has to rotate the other way, no problem. Okay, so there's the 4 to 20, um, an application of the 4 to 20, very common application. Um, anything that I have to adjust, like a flame, a burner, uh, you name it, I could probably turn it with this actuator. It's It's got some torque behind it, so, you know, it can turn some things, not everything, but they have other models that can put out more torque. Uh, this is just the first one I saw that was... That was 50 bucks, so there we go.